I'm Sabina. I'm the founder and CEO of M Industries. We are a branding and marketing agency. Previous to my company uh, being in existence, I worked for big brands like Apple, I worked with L'Oreal, I worked on several brands there, and I've always been in the field of marketing. What's most rewarding for me is seeing um, our clients often come to us with a, an idea or a dream or a hope. Um, what's most rewarding for me is that we get to realize and be a part of realizing that future expression or, or dream come true uh, for their company and also their lives. The best compliment that I've ever received from a client would have to be that we changed their lives and we gave them a brand and an identity that they were not able to imagine for themselves. Um, so what differentiates M Industries from other companies or marketing companies? I would say that what we do differently is that we invest in your brand. Without having a succinct brand that people can understand, your marketing is not as effective as it could be. So we usually start there. Um, and because we build and curate that brand, we build that story, we then know how to tell that story through your marketing outputs better and in a stronger way. And we can take that brand to market over and over and over again and achieve new results, um, which is something that not a lot of marketing agencies do. Three apps that are a big part of my life would be um, definitely Instagram. It is a, it's a huge um, marketing tool that we use on, on a daily basis. I would also say, um, because we have international clients um, and we work in different time zones, I don't know what I would do without WhatsApp. Uh, it's essential to my life. And other than that, I think I rely very heavily on um, my calendar app because I'm very organized, but um, um, it's also, because I work in different time zones, it's, it's very difficult to keep track. So without the calendar app, I would be completely lost. So when, when I think about our clients and, and their goals and their mission and why they come to us, um, one of my clients that comes to mind is Grail Springs. Uh, I chatted with the owner of Grail Springs. It's a wellness retreat center in Ontario, Canada. Um, I chatted with the owner this morning and um, I feel that the most important thing in our relationship with our clients is trust. So when our clients put their trust in us and my team and I are able to do what needs to happen and they don't look over our shoulder and try and guide us too much, the success of their business actually explodes because we, do, we know uh, what they need and, and the business owner usually is so close to the business or the problem that they're not able to figure it out. So Grail Springs is a, is a place very dear to my heart. Uh, they do very meaningful work. They transform lives. They save lives. They uh, revive people out of illness into wellness. Um, they're actually making a tremendous difference in the world. And um, when Grail Springs came to me a few years ago, they were considering whether they stay in business or not because they did not have a brand that was easy to understand or buy. And um, the owner of Grail Springs, a woman I look up to, Madeline Marantet, very much uh, entrusted me with her, her mission and her life's purpose. And uh, we rebranded Grail Springs back in 2017. And it has become this incredible business over time. It already was an incredible business, but the, the new branding allowed them to see how it could be seen from an external standpoint and how they were actually changing lives. So today, uh, I can't even get a booking there unless I book three months ahead because they're, they're so popular and um, it's such a needed space. Um, and uh, the service that they provide is so unique. It's a wellness retreat center, uh, unlike any other in Canada. So I'm very proud of uh, the work that we've done for Grail Springs and the relationship that we've cultivated over the years. And uh, no matter what ha happens, whether Madeline decides to continue or she may be in a position to sell it to perhaps a, a hotel chain, the opportunities are, are open. Um, so that's the power of the right brand, uh, that it opens doors for you that you never even thought or believed could, could exist. So the true definition of luxury or luxury brands, in, in my experience, um, it, it's about how a brand makes a person feel. So 
COVID has changed the world and it's no longer about, you know, amassing Christian Dior or Prada or whatever it is that you're, you're into. Uh, people are now looking to connect with brands and it's, it's about what makes me feel good, what is an investment, what has lasting power. So brands have had to evolve very quickly to become a part of people's lives and their investment. My definition of happiness is the perfectly made coffee, um, an afternoon with my daughter uh, where we have fun, or um, landing on the perfect branding for a client. That's great happiness for me or knowing that I made someone's day or I gave them something that they thought they were not gonna have, those things make me very happy. I would also say that happiness is being around people um, who understand you and um, you are understood without having to explain who you are and what your essence is time and time again. And so in, in essence, I would say that's my Dolce Vita.